welcome to my reaction to Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode 8, An Empty Man. Last week's episode was very good, like very um, thought-provoking for me, and the, actually this whole season has been very good, like, in, in a similar sense. Very different from Season 1, but still very good. I might be a little bit distracted in the studio because I have a new friend, um, so he's not here to stay he's just um, visiting for maybe a few days we are looking for his owners he was um, when we found him he was in a very busy street where oh goodness what are you doing there's like a lot of traffic and taxis and he's still a small cat so he looked he didn't have a collar or anything. He looked, like, lost. So I was obviously terrified to go near him because if I do a movement and he runs, like, maybe something will happen. He will go across the street and there's constant traffic. But um, I stood pretty far away and I just called to him and he ran straight over. He seems to be definitely someone's cat because he's so loving and cute and playful. Um, but, yeah, we are looking for his owner currently. And uh, I'm just taking care of him, so he's in the in the room with me. Later, I will. Um, Hello. <laughs> Sorry, like I said, I'll, I, I'm a little bit distracted. But as soon as the episode starts and he settles down, because he's in a new room now, so I think he's just like, "Ooh, what's this and what's that?" But yes, we'll find his owner hopefully soon. And if not, um, my mother has always wanted a ginger cat, <laughs> so. So he, he's such a loving cat, it wouldn't be a problem finding a home for him. But I would be absolutely horrified if something happened to my cat and I couldn't find um, them. So we're going to make sure to ask. Well, I know people who are on Facebook and cat groups and stuff, so they'll ask. We're going to go to all the vets in the area because he should have been inoculated. Um, so someone will, will probably put posters up too. Um, uh, so yeah, as long as they can provide pictures that can prove the cat is theirs, uh, yeah. Hello. Such a cute cat. At the moment we're calling him Mango because he's orange and we had the mango for breakfast. So it's to this morning before we found him. So. Um, let me just double check. Okay, yeah, everything's fine. I hope you guys are all doing good and that your week started off on a good note. That it is raining and thundering, so if you hear something, it's just that. Oh, you guys can't see anything, but it's the intro. I'm sure you've already watched the episode, so you know what is being introduced here. Um, I'm going to put off the light so that I can see better, too. Hello. Okay, so, yeah, you might not be able to see this because of the fade, but it will get better when the episode is... Don't go on my manga! Aina. So maybe he's sore. Is he older that much? Ooh, his hands. Ooh, makes me feel like. Oh my god. I think the cat turned off the internet. Yeah, the cat turned off the internet. Okay, take two. There he goes. I think that may be because if I had to take a guess, and I'm not a psychologist or anything, but he was already feeling guilt, and that guilt like drags him down in, in like a depressed, I don't care if I live or die state, right? He had nothing that he cared about. Now, 
he's he's he cares about someone. He has a friend. In the last episode, or the one before that, he said, "You are my friend," or whatever. He's like, oh, "I'm not your friend." I'm like, "No, no, you're my friend." And so he has someone that he cares about, and maybe he's starting to feel like an appreciation for life again, or just, you know, he cares a little bit more about life. So I'm assuming that makes him feel even more guilty. That brings the guilt up even more. And so it, it's becoming a heavier weight. Because if you're already at rock bottom and you don't care if you live or die, the guilt is like, it's you feel guilty, but you're already at rock bottom. The high, If you just start to climb back up into the light, as is symbolized, the weight becomes heavier and heavier the higher you go. The weight of the guilt. I would assume. Enough. Did he say enough? Jump up here. Come. He wants to play with my hand. <laughs> Lotta? Oh, his sister. I think part of what makes us human is like if we do something bad mm, there's a part of us that at least can know that it's bad right and the forgetting it like how can you re retribution or making up for the bad things we've done is a, a sensitive topic but we can agree to some extent like let's say you you hurt someone like you steal their toy and they break it when you're young you we can agree that there is you can make up for that right but you know it depends on the sin what sins you can make up for versus what you can't that's what's a sensitive topic but at the very least i think we can agree um or at least i think if there are sins that we can make up for like for example he was a kid when all of that stuff happened how much responsibility does he carry da, 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 da. it's all up for debate but if he can make up for the things that he's done in his past, forgetting about it is not an option. Like you have to, you, that's the thing with doing bad things. For the rest of your life, you will have to carry that with you. There's no making up for something if you don't even remember what you did, if you forgot what you did, if you... Mm. So that's why I think he says it's something that he shouldn't forget because he took people's lives and even if, even if those people in their transcended state can't forgive him even if the people that he hurt like those who were left behind he took someone's father's life he took someone's father's life even if those people can for forgive him that person's life was still taken like the least we could do is remember you know like that that will have to carry with us no don't bite me okay no don't bite me okay sorry what Horse, horse pulling. Mm. Oh no. If they hurt these people's wheat, they're, they're taking money away from the owner. So they better not mess with them. Um, excuse me? Your world is already in chaos, so shut up. I've probably forgotten it too, whatever it is. He's digging in the sandbox.
interesting. I think it's like, like if I were a, a, a psychologist, which thankfully I'm not, because I would, I would should probably shouldn't even say this or be thinking this. Well, he's fictional, so it doesn't matter. So I can say it. Um, I'm just thinking. Obviously, he's not empty, but after eleven years of uh, being fueled by hate, to have that suddenly taken away. And after what he's been through, who can, he can obviously not even remember his childhood. Like, it's too traumatic. He's playing with a piece of plastic. So, even though he's not, he's not actually empty, maybe if, if there's just a way that he can be reminded of what he had before, he can find another reason to move forward. Is that the best way to put that? Exactly. You can learn. Length. What is length? Because the fish get chased away. That's the bright side. That's actually a really... It's a really important theme. Because he said that now and the before, when he overheard this stuff about the work. Work. Like, it makes you think of two things. One... What is that about idle hands being the devil's tools or something? But also, on a in a less religious sense, um, if you have too much idle time, if you're not, if you don't know what it means to have to to have to work for survival, to have to, like, because we live in that kind of society where I've said this before, we go to the store, there's a sandwich, bread, butter, meat. Tomato, everything right there. You, 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 it's not even you have to put the sandwich together yourself. You can just buy the damn sandwich. Just like that. Zero effort. So like we live in a kind of society where most of the hard stuff is already done for us by someone else. And that's great that we've created a society, you know, where some people love to farm, so they farm. Some people love to, like, they want to go to space, so they don't have time to make a sandwich because they need to go through rigorous training to become an astronaut. So that it's great that we've created a society where we don't have to struggle so hard to survive in some areas. He's on my makeup table. We don't have to struggle so hard to survive in some areas, so it creates a strong foundation for us so that we can build and go higher. But the foundation, those that many of us at the top in first world societies have forgotten what it means to be, to be here, you know. And so a lot of us, I'm not talking about the astronauts and whatnot that have dedicated their lives to going to the next frontier. I'm just meaning, like even me, when I just got out of school, I didn't know what I wanted to become. I didn't really know what it meant to work hard. I had some chores and stuff growing up and I liked to read. It's not like I was doing bad things, but... I also didn't know what it meant to to really have to like I've never I never got my hands dirty working in the garden to grow a carrot and then and then chopped up like cleaned the carrot and chopped it and cooked it and ate it and like I didn't know what it meant to to have food on the table you know that kind of stuff so a lot of people um growing up in today's time that that there there's a sense of nihilism like uh, people are messing with other things because they, they feel empty. Really, they're just trying to fill themselves with all, all of these things. And that's not a great place to be. So that's why, like, if you, to be, when you're empty, it's a good opportunity to fill your something, yourself with something meaningful. But now, we only really find out what's meaningful when we get our hands dirty, when we learn the value of life and the, 
the earth and the, that kind of sentimental things. I don't know how to put that. But now most of us are so disconnected with our roots, where we came from as humanity, you know. We try and fill that hole in ourselves with other things. I don't want to talk about what things, because maybe it offends someone, but I think that's a very important theme. And it, it's being said here and there, and their stuff is happening in a time long ago. Our world isn't there anymore, but still, just working, learning, keeping yourselves busy, keeping yourself busy. And obviously, some people do that the opposite in today's time, where they feel empty, so all they do is work, 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 and, it's, and that's their distraction, that's their... Um, like, I'm not just saying you should throw yourself into work and and not sort out your root problems because that's not going to help you either but this is uh how do you say it? this is different for me because their work isn't like just throwing yourself in work and forgetting about your real problems even if you have even if you work hard you make money and you can take care of your of yourself and you can buy a house that doesn't necessarily make you happy either that's the other side of the problem but I think when you're empty, when you feel this kind of uh, nihilism in today's times, a lot of that would be solved if we, if we worked, if we put, if we didn't look for solutions in like, there, and we actually just kind of like went back to our roots a bit, foraged for our own food for fuck's sake. I I don't know how to put it. It's such difficult, but. What I love about the story is, even if I don't have the words to put all of that and give it meaning, this story is showing me like, yes, this, this is it, that is it. <laughs> okay, sorry. Oh, I'm so scared, I'm so scared they're going to their farm, aren't they? Plus, he was a, a warrior as a child. It's different for a child. And he was only a warrior because of his revenge, forcing him to follow someone, and that someone, he didn't have a chance to fight him, and that someone said, you know, fight and follow me, or whatever, I don't remember all everything. But he was a different warrior than the, than those guys, even back then, even back when he was. Oh no. A bad feeling. He just saw it. I knew it. It's so fucked up. Jealousy, fear, because they're scared you're gonna take their place or you're gonna and je just jealousy and oh. but this is so stupid because you know what's frustrating me the most they don't have photos of how it was growing and now how it looks and like they don't have phones to prove anything and like how are they gonna prove it fuck those guys No, go tell the, go tell them, Danna. But even if they do, what would come of it? How do they prove it? And no. Talk to the boss. Oh yeah. Oh, 
をまた借りなきゃならねえやつら武器を育てる苦労も喜びもやつらだって農夫だろよくこんな誇れを取るべお前が誇りをぶっ殺すって言うんなら百回はぶっ殺されなきゃならないはずだなるほど確かにこれはひどいな二人とも荒らされるところは見てないんだなとは調べが済むまでこのままにしておきなさい誇りをやつら分かったすべて旦那様に報告するあとは任せなさい私の奴隷の自分にはいろいろひどい目にあった人間だなぜこんな一文にもならんことをやるのだろうと思っていたんだ That's so important People who love to discriminate can be found everywhere I don't think that there we can ever create a world with no discrimination on any level you know People discriminate for various reasons um, at people who are different than them in any way And I don't think that's something that we can ever remove entirely but that's why we live in fucking we create civilized societies where there's laws and stuff so that when discrimination or anything like that does take place that those who are guilty can um make up for it like like it obviously depends on the severity like he said maybe they didn't deserve to die for what they did but clearly they need to be taught that it was wrong and it, so that it doesn't happen again because really they're shooting themselves in the foot. Well, but they don't see it that way. But they have a specific standing in society and they believe they can't go up, but they're happy there where they are. So they want to keep those below them where they are because if those below them go above them, they will feel like, they will actually feel lower. And that's what they want to prevent. That's bullshit. We want to live in a society where you can go from nothing and work your way up. That's a, that's a great society, I think. ちょっと。<笑> でもそう落ち込むことはねえぜ。どうせ奴隷の作った麦だ。したくて食えやしねえんだからや。Unexpected. And this is why he wanted to avoid it. Man, I'm not gonna lie, that punch felt good. And I was hoping that he would just give all of them a swift kick. They'd be on the ground and then they know not to mess with them, but fuck. Not how it works, is it? PTSD? Oh, 
So wait, let me take this out. And then you take a quick picture so you got to see how cute. Mm. He actually looks pretty big on my lap, but he's not. He's like a little, mm, you know, like not a toddler, but not a teenager. Just in between. If he were a kid, he'd be seven or eight, maybe eight. Hello. So, that was a really good episode, but really frustrating. But I like the words from Pater that says, um, don't give up. Like, he also went through this very difficult stuff. Mm, it, it seemed like they tried to poison him. But in the end, things worked out for him. He got his freedom back, if, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he, he bought his freedom back, but he chose to stay on the farm because I guess, you know, it's safe and it's a job and it's in the world that they live in, it might be better than what he could get off the farm. But still, he has his freedom. He has the choice to, to remain there. I don't know how so many people can hate on this masterpiece. Who? I, I don't know. I haven't seen people hating. I've seen people say, you know, I don't like it. It's boring. And, you know... That's fine because you're not in the in the part of life where you kind of understand the depth maybe of this, um, and I'm sure there's things that I would watch and I just ugh no I, I don't I don't this, 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 I don't click with this I don't I don't like this so I don't know I haven't seen people hating on it but of course I've seen people not like it and I can understand why but I can't relate and yes trampoline dog that was a criminal ending I. Hate the only reason to look forward to Mondays. I like Mondays. I do. It's like usually I stream the recently Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then I know on a Monday I can get started pretty late with recording and stuff. I kind of take the day off um, <laughs> during the day, of course. And then always in the evening I'm stressed out. I'm like, oh, my God, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have started so late. I have to get ready. Mm, so Mondays are, are fun and then stressful. Um... I'm supposed to have Wednesdays off, but what I've been doing is Mondays and Tuesdays I have certain stuff to record and then on Wednesday I have off. But then I kind of take one or one thing on Monday and one thing on Tuesday, uh, just a few things, and I, I put it in Wednesday. So instead of having like a work day, a work day, an off day, I take like a, like a third of that day, a third of that day, a third of that day. Then I have some chill days and then I record in the evenings. So, you know, kind of nice. A uh, point that I wanted to make is I like Mondays. And I remember back when I was studying, when I was like 19, 20, um, that I did hate the Mondays, but then I decided one day, you know what? I don't want to hate Mondays anymore. I'm going to start liking Mondays. And then I wrote down some things that I like about Mondays. And then I used to like really look forward to Mondays. It was It was such a weird, slow, but very noticeable shift. The amount of character development Thorfinn had in this episode alone put tears on my face. It had a slow build-up, but man, I wouldn't be feeling all this if it wasn't for every single episode before this one. Big props to MAPPA that they're, what they're doing here. This is kind of like, actually, I think, the, it's not the character development in one episode. But he's saying it, but just not like I'm thinking it. So I'm just, I wanted to say how I'm thinking it. I wouldn't say that this episode had a lot of character development I would say that now the character development is visible after everything so he did say that a line VC because it says I wouldn't be feeling all this if it wasn't for every single episode before this but here it's just the results of everything that came so the, the development happens in, since episode one to now it's been development it's been slow development but now it's been very visible in this one it's finally like it's like when the flower just starts to blossom. It's growing, and you're like, when is my flower? When am I going to see a flower? There's just a green plant. I want to see the flower. And then suddenly it's like, the moment that first little leaf pops out, it looks like such a, oh my God, suddenly there's, there's a leaf. There, it's, it's, it's like pink. And, but actually the growing has been happening all the time. You know, and that's kind of like what this is like. So it was a really good episode. Um, it is difficult to score though 
I'm not the biggest fan of the visuals all the time, but it's still good. It's just that it gets overshadowed by the great story and characters, you know. Okay, so Vinland Saga. Wait, wait, wait. Here, episode seven. My phone camera makes the photo look different the whole time. It looks dull, and then it like refocuses, and then it doesn't look dull. Oh, sorry, guys. Story, I would say, um, a nine point five. Characters, nine point five. Uh, although I'm like, I'm missing a little something, but it's only episode seven, so the conclusion that I'm hoping for the the payoff, both story and character wise. In retrospect, it might be a 10, but for now I'm giving it a 9. No, don't go. Don't go. Sleep on my lap, please, little. Oh, yeah. Okay, so 9.5. The visuals, I would say 8. It's very good visuals. There are moments when there are some 9 out of 10 visuals, but mostly I would say it's like a 7.5. So I'm going to average it out on an 8. Which might be downplaying it a bit. If anyone else feels different, feel free to let me know. But for me, it averages out on an 8. Audio, 9. In the beginning, the, the, the sound effects were, once again, some parts were just very loud. <laughs> but I just put my stuff softer and it didn't feel so overwhelming. But remember, in a previous episode, I said the same thing where, like, he dropped the axe and then it was like, what do <laughs> like it just felt like exaggerated like i i felt like they could have just downplayed the doof a little because it's just the axe just fell and sometimes yeah it's a bit dramatic um for small sound effects like that and this one maybe had one or two moments like that where i felt the same but i think overall still a nine is a great score because the voice acting is amazing and the music and the and the sound effects in most cases. And then my enjoyment slash investment, 9.4. That gives us an overall score of 9.1 again. The last two, whoa, look at that. 8.2, 7.9. 8.7, 8.7, 8.7. Wait. From episode three, it was 8.7, 8.7, 8.7, 8.7, four in a row? Wait, what's going on here? I think something, wait, where did it go? 8.2, 7.9, 8.7, 8 8.7, 8.7. What did you do? My Lola fell. You bumped off my Lola figure. But it's fine. It's fine. But why? Now you're leaving. Luckily, um, she can split in two. So she is fine. But poor girl. I'll put her back later. Um, so something's wrong here. This was episode eight. So five, six, this is seven. This was eight. So how many 8.7s have we had? Three, four, episode three, episode four, episode five, episode six, four 8.7s in a row. Whoa. And it's not even like every category is scored the same. So then, and now we had two 9.1s. So yeah, great scores. And it's only episode seven. It feels like we're further in because the pacing ha has felt slow and steady, but a lot is happening. So even though we're only on episode eight, even though we're only on episode eight, it feels like we've gotten 10 or 11 episodes worth of content. Just trying to climb on the basket. Oh, let me help you. Let me help you. I got you. <laughs> Fucking cats. They're so curious. When they're young, especially. They're, when they're younger and when they're older, they're curious. But when they're, they get older, they're more careful, at least. Because I think maybe their mother or someone taught them to be, you know, you can be curious, but be careful. Anyway, so I'm going to end the video here. And then I'll see you next week for episode nine. Um, let me know your thoughts. And if you have any questions for me. I'll see you then.